Hitendra, thank you so much for being here again with us uh, uh, for this edition of Future Female Forward. As you look at this living logo as we breathe life into the F right behind us, Hitendra, I, I just wanted to understand from you what the journey to you has meant so far. No, it's, 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 I've, got, I've got this, yeah. So I think it's been just absolutely fabulous to partner with you, CNBC TV 18, for a cause that, you know, has triggered conversations. It's triggered conversations in HSBC, it's triggered conversations in families, in, in you know, broader platforms. So to the extent that we can play a small role in making sure that the equality of opportunity agenda, which is, you know, parity happens, we are very proud and very privileged to be, have been given this opportunity. Thank you. Well, no, thank you uh, very much, Itendra, for partnering with us. But, you know, I, I want to understand from you some of the learning, some of the lessons, some of the stories, some of the ideas that we've swapped along the course of this past year. Have you been able to incorporate that in any way in, at HSBC so far? Yeah, yeah. No, no, so it's a journey, right? I think nobody in this audience can claim that there is a destination here, right? This is a journey. Um, what's really helped at HSBC, our partnership here, or the visible partnership here, I think is there is a lot more open conversation taking place, right? There's a lot of, lot of things that unconscious biases that we didn't want to accept, a lot of the fact that, you know, statistics don't lie, facts are facts, <laughs> there is lack of parity, there is lack of representation. So the number one benefit has been open conversations. I think there is the second benefit has been that Amongst men, there is more conversation, right? I mean, this is, this is what's, not a... what's the conversation amongst men? <laughs> I'll take the mic off and tell you, right? Okay, so, uh, but, but amongst men, there is a realization that, yes, maybe there are things that we just either consciously were not aware or unconsciously were not aware. So that's a good starting point. And I think we are beginning to see change in men, but we are beginning to see change in women. You know? The things that, you know, be confident, be yourself, don't try to be somebody else, as you mentioned, yeah. there is no grace in being invisible and things of that nature. So, I see early signs of change, but it's a, it's a, it's a long road, it's a highway, this it, is not a small lane. It is a highway and uh, we've, we've just gotten started. So, is, is there a target that you've set for yourself on what you believe that you would like to achieve by the end of 2024? I think not so much in numbers, there are numbers at an organization policy, for example, I mean, just for the benefit of everybody in the audience, we are one of the few organizations globally that discloses pay by gender, including for India. Okay, so that data then helps us have conversations internally and plus it also brings out transparency, which is very important yeah. in this agenda, I think. And it also conveys a degree of seriousness, right? But otherwise, I think the processes we have for recruitment, for promotion, for year-end evaluations and all those things there is a fairness angle reviewed and that includes review by you know people with you know like for example our interview list now have to have a certain number of women the interview panel has to have a certain number of women and the outcomes if they are consistently going one way either way yeah. there is a review so like i said the conversations have been very very helpful as an organization we can see the early benefits of genuinely actually having a more diversified input i think when we met last year we had said that Yes, this is a good social thing to do, but it is a great thing to do for an organization because you do get the benefits of better insights. Our customers are 50-50, yeah. right? Our customers are 50-50, so if we get 50-50 in us eventually, then we will hopefully do better justice to the market as well. So it's, 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 it's a good to do, but it's a good... And it's a win-win, let's call it like that. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it makes a, it's the right business thing exactly. to do uh, as well. So 50-50 by when? Uh, don't put me in a spot. <laughs> I, like I am going to put yeah. you on the spot. No, no. no. I, I think we don't want to. We will have 100% equality of opportunity. Okay. In that, if it's 100% women, it'll be 100% women. Yeah. Yeah. But it'll never be 100% men because that doesn't seem right given the history and the background. The number one thing we are focusing right now is on equality of opportunity. There will not be any woman applicant promotion situation transfer situation where there will be biases which get away without any explanation or, or repercussion. So that's, I think we are focusing on equality of opportunity. 
hopefully that results in equality of the representation. And that is what we are focused on as well, creating more equal opportunity workplaces, creating workplaces that remove the biases, that uh, allow for merit to truly be recognized and rewarded. Hitendra Dave, always a pleasure. Many, okay. many thanks. Ladies Thank and gentlemen, you. a big round of applause for Hitendra Dave and HSBC for partnering with us for Future Female Forward.